New tax value notices are out, and owners might be surprised at the increases they're seeing. But a new tax value does not equal an increase in your tax bill. That'll come later this summer after local county and city boards decide how they're going to set tax rates. Tax bills themselves will go out in July. That's when owners of property will get their first look at how much they'll actually be paying in the coming year. Payment for those bills is due in September, but late fees don't kick in until January. Renters might have to wait longer to see if they're impacted by higher property values, however. Landlords will get their tax bills in July and then decide if they're going to pass along any higher taxes in the form of higher rent, or if because of market conditions and competition, they will keep rent where it is. It's possible that renters could see higher rates if their landlords see higher property tax bills, but depending on how the rental market is doing, it's also possible that they won't see an impact. Business owners who rent space are in a similar situation. They could see an impact if their landlords decide to pass along higher tax bills. Commercial property saw a higher overall tax value increase than residential property, so some experts have said it's more likely commercial owners will have to increase rents in response to higher property tax bills. So the decision on property tax rates is separate from the property tax values. If your property's value went up more than the median rate, which is 43% for residential and 77% for commercial, it's more likely that your tax bill will go up. If your property increased in value less than those median rates, it's likely that your tax bill will stay similar or possibly even go down. So the median rate matters a lot more than the individual dollar increase that your property saw. So big picture, it means that we have to wait at least six more months before we know what the impact on individual properties will be. 